dawn of the eleventh day. Hi everyone, welcome back to Slime Rancher. Uh, we're uh, able to do. Hold on, I gotta move the camera here. Is there we go? Uh, we're able to do this again, uh, thanks to thanks to generosity from one of uh, from one of my subscribers. So thank you, whoever you are mystery person who's so generous. I know who it is, I just don't want him to know I'm thankful directly at him. And, uh, yeah, speaking of subscribers, uh, this is, uh, yesterday we broke, uh, we broke 11. So, uh, yeah. Um, I know it's not much, but I'm calling it a win. So, uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is what I consider to be the, uh, the 10 subscribers special. Y'all may not seem like much, but yeah, a win's a win. So, uh, thank you to everyone who's watching. You know, it's, it's nice to know that people are enjoying this. I'm not just, you know, putting it out there and nobody's, nobody's watching. So, gracias. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, Schmitty would like to show you his uh, his appreciation. Uh, he actually uh, is back. I told him we were. Uh, I told him. We, oh, sorry, sorry, everybody. I told him that we were celebrating uh, 10 subscribers, and uh, he actually came down. That's the wrong feeder. He actually came down uh, and took time away from uh, from commanding his pirate crew on Lake Erie. Uh, to give you guys a special message. <gasps> Truly he loves you all. Uh, do with that what you will. Okay, so um, I haven't been back to this save in a little while, so I kind of forget, you know, how things are. I'm pretty sure we... Yes, we did unlock this place. <gasps> Jeez! Come here. You come here. I, uh, actually finished Adventure Mode on my other save, so, um, now I've played Adventure Mode all the way through in a different one, and I learned that, uh, that Beatrix Lebu, I think that's her name, the person that we play as, uh, she's a lesbian, so there you go. Isn't that fun? I'll get you, I'll get you. We'll get over here. So yeah, I uh, I have uh, I've prepared flashcards, cause uh, sometimes I don't know what to talk about. So whenever I feel like I don't know what to talk about, I'm gonna look at one of the flashcards and I'm gonna discuss, I'm gonna discuss what's on there. And these are basically things I just came up with that you know. Well, at least keep me talking, and maybe you'll learn something along the way. Uh, let's see, uh... uh okay. Let's see. I uh, discuss thoughts on Indiana Jones, the sucky one. Up, oh, hold on, we gotta... We gotta go feed these. Gotta go feed these tabbies. Feed me hungry. Hey, cow. So we should probably go get more tabbies. Let's go get more tabbies. We'll do that. We'll go on an adventure. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I was thinking about, uh, Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I watched it, uh, for the first time in a long time, uh, forever ago. Uh, I am a big fan of Indiana Jones. Because, um, he's probably the coolest nerd you'll ever meet. And he is a nerd. Do not... Do not be mistaken about that. But, um, the way I think, you know, they, I do think they kind of jumped the shark with the aliens, but I think I know the reasoning behind that. My idea is that, uh, well, originally, Indiana Jones is based off the adventure serials of the 1930s. You know, you go, going on adventures, globe trotting, flying in planes, all that stuff. Uh, Finding mysterious artifacts. You know, like the stuff found in pulp comics. That kind of thing. My door just creaked open. Ignore that. Uh, and so, my thought 
is that when they said, oh, you know, it's been, it's been about, you know, 20 years or so, it's going to be in the 50s, uh, what, what kind of evolved from the 50s? In that time, sci-fi was the big thing. So I feel like they were trying to foray from, you know, the, the 30s adventure serial type thing to update it into the 50s, and it did not work. They should have just uh, stuck with him finding finding cool stuff and not have had aliens. It's a bit too out there. And uh, we can't really blame George Lucas because he was he was just really you know producing and he wasn't he wasn't uh, he wasn't the one who had the final say. If anything, we should blame Spielberg. South Park certainly does. Yeah, we got a good, what was that, three minutes of talking out of that? Oh yeah, pfft. Goy, I haven't unlocked this place yet, I'm on autopilot. Oh, Casey, that's, that's the girl. That's the girl Beatrix likes. Hey, I bought a cactus from you, sort of. Why am I giving her a deep voice? I'll just read it normally. I bought a cactus from you, sort of. When I came back home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. I was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a, ca a cactus alive, then something is clearly very wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out here, out there on the range, doing your thing. Hope you're okay. I know I may have spoiled the game, but it takes like, you know, 125 days to get to that point, so, you know, it's a, uh, that's a number of hours, and I don't, <laughs> I don't think we're going to reach that, uh, in this, in this kind of series I'm doing. <gasps> Tabbies! Get over here. So I think our main focus right now is just gonna be, um, yeah. Having the uh, the tabby slimes and all that, getting money, duh, building more things, cause that's the usefulness. Oh wait, we should use these hen hens to feed that big, uh, yeah, that big um, tabby gordo. We'll finally get that done. <laughs> Dear Lord. When I was born a rambling man I make a living and doing the best I can I'm singing that song because I'm rambling you see it's it's a clever well it's not a clever pun but you know it's a, it's a play on words eh 21 hen hens might be enough 21 hen hens needs to be <laughs> needs to be the name of a parody band. I don't know anything about 21 Pilots, except uh, my cousin likes them. And they make music. Here ends my knowledge of 21 Pilots. <gasps> Hi! Hello! Oh, he's blinking. I would like to adopt all of you. Alas, I cannot. Sorry, my door's creaking open. If you can hear that. He does that sometimes is an old house. He's got ghosts and they like to open the door and go and then I poop myself. So it's quite a thing to watch. Out of my way. Hey y'all. Have some chick that's water. Have some chickens. And oh he's gonna vomit. Yay! Oh! That was good. Alright, I'll take that. Y'all are gonna come live with me. <gasps> there you go. I have freed you from your prison. What we got? Ooh, heartbeat. Okay, so then, uh, here we have, uh, we have a teleporter back to the ranch. And I can't I can get the one thing there. Oh, hi! Go away, please. You're in my per- okay. You want to- okay, there you go. Are you happy now? That's good, I'm glad- I'm glad I could- I could make you happy. 
And back to uh, this teleporter over here. And we haven't unlocked this area yet. Alright. Uh, join us next time when I try to figure out uh, what else we're going to do. Uh, yeah, bang.